What is autophagy? The word autophagy comes from the Greek auto, which means self, and phagy, which means to eat. It is the process by which cells degrade and recycle their components. It provides fuel for energy and building blocks for cell renewal. Diet changes that can boost autophagy. Intermittent fasting and ketogenic diets are known to trigger autophagy. Fasting is the most effective way to trigger autophagy. If you do not overwhelm the body with an external load, it gives the body a break to focus on its own health and repair. In the keto diet, you get about 75% of your daily calories from fat and 5-10% to of your calories from carbs. This shift in calorie sources causes your body to shift its metabolic pathways. It will begin to use fat for fuel instead of the glucose that's derived from carbohydrates. In response to this restriction, your body will begin to start producing ketone bodies that have many protective effects. Ketosis can also cause starvation-induced autophagy, which has neuroprotective functions. When your body is in ketosis, low glucose levels occur, and this is linked to low insulin and high glucagon levels. Glucagon hormone is the one that initiates autophagy. When the body is low on sugar through fasting or ketosis, it brings the positive stress that wakes up the survival repairing mode. One non-diet area that may also play a role in inducing autophagy is exercise. Physical exercise may induce autophagy in organs that are part of the metabolic regulation processes. This can include the muscles, liver, pancreas, and adipose tissue. How to stimulate autophagy in your body? Start by adding fasting and regular exercise into your routine. However, you need to consult your doctor if you are taking any medications, are pregnant or wish to become pregnant or having a chronic condition such as heart disease or diabetes. The same process also happens at a subcellular level. Instead of killing off the entire cell, only some parts are replaced. This is the process of autophagy, where small parts of cells are destroyed and new ones are rebuilt to replace it. Old cell membranes, organelles and other cellular debris can be removed. This is done by sending it to the lysosome, which is a specialized organelle containing enzymes that degrade proteins. The consequences of accumulating all junky proteins in your cells can be seen in two main conditions, Alzheimer disease and cancer. In cancer, oxidative stress accumulates in cells causing errors in cellular machinery and in DNA replication. This eventually leads to errors in vital gene responsible for the regulation of the cell cycle. What activates autophagy? Nutrient deprivation is the key activator of autophagy. Remember that insulin is the hormone that is responsible for lowering glucose level in your body. Glucagon is kind of the opposite hormone to insulin. When insulin goes up, glucagon goes down. When insulin goes down, glucagon goes up. As we eat, insulin goes up and glucagon goes down. However, when we fast, insulin goes down and glucagon goes up. This increase in glucagon stimulates the process of autophagy. Not only does fasting stimulate autophagy, but it actually does two good things. First, it clears out all the old junky proteins and cellular parts. 
At the same time, fasting also stimulates growth hormone, which tells the body to start producing new proteins. We are really giving our bodies the complete chance for renewal. This means that fasting may in some ways reverse the aging process by getting rid of all cellular junks and replacing it with new parts. What turns off autophagy? Eating glucose, insulin, or decreased glucagon all turn off the self cleaning process. And it doesn't take much, even a small amount of sugar could stop autophagy. So, this process is unique to fasting something not found in simple caloric restriction or dieting. There is a balance here. Too much autophagy, as well as too little, can make you sick. Which gets us back to the natural cycle of life. Feast and fast, not constant dieting. This allows for cell growth during eating and cellular cleansing during fasting. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your family and friends. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell.